What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John plays here, and today, well, I got a big old box. And uh, we're gonna open it. <laughs> That's a great intro, I know, I know. Uh, you guys probably already know what this is. This is, cause you know, the, the thumbnail and everything. This is the Majora's Mask exclusive mask from First Four Figures. I ordered this a long, long time ago. How long ago? I, God, this had to be over a year. Okay, have the date. January 10th, 2017. It is now June 21st, 2018. That is one year, five months, and 11 days I waited for this. Uh, to give you an idea, my, my YouTube videos used to look like this. What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here. We are back for episode seven of our Pokemon Moon Wonderlock. And now they look like this, so a lot has happened in that time. Um, I did order the the higher end one that has the LEDs for the eyes, so I'm going to show that off and a whole bunch of other stuff, so let's go ahead and open this up. Spoilers, inside of the box is another box. I, for a fact, do not have to say how large this box is because, well, you just saw me next to it. Uh, beautiful packaging. The back says, you've been met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Majora's Mask is a mysterious artifact that was once used by an ancient tribe for their incarnations. Fearing the mask's terrible power, this ancient tribe sealed the mask away that it might never be used for dark intent. Centuries later, the mask is stolen by the mischievous Skull Kid who unwittingly wears it. He becomes consumed by the mask's dark powers, its unwitting slave, filled with a desire to create mischief and bring devastation upon the world. First Four Figures is proud to present the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask life-size replica. Regarded as a darker entry in the Zelda franchise, Majora's Mask takes place in Termina, an alternate version of the familiar setting of Hyrule, where the Skull Kid has stolen a powerful ancient artifact and brought havoc to the land. This Majora's Mask life-size replica stands at 25 inches tall from the tip to the horns of the base, making it a stunning display piece for any Zelda fan. Each mask comes with a hand-numbered base and authenticity card limit of 20 2600 pieces worldwide and I have number uh, 578 so exclusive stuff right here we have a first four figures day one holographic sticker and a uh, authenticate my statue with five simple steps thanks uh, there's a sticker on here saying quality check passed by Zhu Sheng thank you Zhu Sheng for QA checking my mask even the styrofoam is engraved with Majora's Mask. That is some attention to detail. On the back we have the authenticity card, I'm assuming. Yes, it's an actual plastic card with the replica number on it. And then a nice holographic card. Sweet. Oh, it's signed by someone. If you are buying this online, Second hand, make sure it comes with the authenticity card. That's how you know it's authentic. It doesn't want to be open this way. All right. So let's go ahead. Wow, there is lots of things in here. Oh my God. It's heavy. It's very heavy. I would not want to wear this on my face. Oh, and there's assembly instructions. And here is the holder for it. Oh god, this is also very heavy. And there's a spot for batteries down here. Huh. Oh, that's how the lights turn on. There's actually an AC port built into it. That's amazing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. I'll be right back. So, well, one, I'm a little sweaty because I just got home. I didn't turn my air conditioner on. I got really excited for this, but here it is. Fully assembled. The assembly was a lot easier than I thought. These are actually all magnetic pieces. So, 
If you're moving, if you want to transport this around your house from location to location, or for whatever reason, if you want to bring this out in public, which I don't know why you would, but you totally could. All these just come off nice and easy. They're all labeled inside of here which parts they are. Uh, R1 through R5. It sits on the base very snugly. Just that little bit of wiggle. And right on the back is the button to turn the eyes on. That's amazing. Hey, here he's. Turn off my upstairs lights. Alright, so I brought the camera settings down quite a bit, so it's gonna appear very dark and really grainy, but I want to capture the full effect. Yeah, look at that. Those eyes are piercing into the soul. And then there, if I hit it again, it goes to a dimmer mode. Oh, do, is it like a. Is it gonna fade off? I don't know, it kind of like faded in there a little bit. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. It's a very slow loop. Ah, let's go ahead and bring the lights back up so we can marvel at its beauty. Hey, here he's studio evening. Okay. What's really nice about this is the uh, it it runs on a single 18650 lithium ion battery inside of the base here, the same one that's used in flashlights and modern mechanical vapes, like 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 your boy. And then there's also a micro USB port on the back of this. So if you want to plug it in and let it just run forever, you could totally do that. It could just be a staple in your house. The lights can just always be on, which I think is really great. And with the 18650 in there, it doesn't need to be plugged into a power source. Instead, it could just be chilling there and play and it uh, an 18650 with two LEDs in there and a small motherboard that might be like 8, 12, even like 16 hours of battery life, just going off rough estimates on what 18650s normally hold. But this thing is amazing. No buyer's remorse, cost it a lot of money. If you do want to get one, you cannot get one through first four figures. Like I mentioned, they are an extremely limited run. You would have to get one from a scalper on eBay. Um, my only question is where am I going to display this so it's always displayed all the time. I'm going to figure that out. But guys, I just wanted to share the Majora's Mask life-size replica from first four figures, which I think is absolutely amazing and eerie. It has so much detail. Like, even if you look at like the top, like you see like all like the, the stress on it. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm done staring at it for, for the video. Uh, guys, do me a favor, if you found it beautiful, drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. I wanna wear this. Can I do that?